hi um, in last tutorial i showed you how you can use nmap i have used nmap after using nmap i found um, some open ports with uh, the services uh, running on those ports a very uh, fast open port we had over there was port 21 which was ftp port and the service uh, which was running on that port was vf uh, vs ftpd we searched that service on exploit db and it suggested us that meta exploit does have um, uh, exploit for that particular services so this tutorial i will um, take you through the meta exploit briefly how you can run um, one of those exploit um, to attack a target machine which has certain kind of vulnerability um, so let's start the whole task um, it will be a brief introduction of meta exploit as well now before you start running meta exploit you need to have uh, a service called post sql uh, start so i'm just typing start the service called post sql uh, now without having this service running you cannot use uh, meta exploit in that machine so we need that once um, i have started this service hopefully it has started but i just want to double check the status i typed service postgresql status yes this service is now up and running when you see this screen if you need to go back to the uh, root please hit the q q for quit and that will get you to the uh, command prompt again now our uh, postgres sql is running now we can start uh, using this msf console msf console is um, your screen which will allow you to use metasploit um, to attack a machine to exploit the vulnerabilities um, it is a console you can think uh, well metasploit uh, is called as a framework for exploiting the vulnerabilities um, so anything and everything you want to do uh, you will have almost all the options within this console to exploit a machine um, this will be one of your best friend if uh, you want to work in ethical hacking industry so make sure you are familiar with msf console i will show you a few other places where you can get uh, some additional resources it will take a while uh, to start the console and now we got the console started how do you know if there was a problem to run this msf console then you would still be on this but after running the console successfully see the command prompt has been changed now we are on msf uh, console that's a different command prompt what you can do here first of all always use help help will give you the details of what kind of command you can use and um, what we'll do with those commands things like that so very fast command i uh, two things here i will strongly recommend you to go through with those commands take a time and um, go through with those commands understand what each of those commands could do uh, any time in your career you may need to use any of those commands uh, for me i want to use only two commands from here to show you how to exploit that uh, vsftpd um, uh, service first one i want to search what i want to search i know that port 21 does have that vsftpd running i want to search whether meta exploit does have that exploit in here so let's come back here and now i'm typing search and the name of that was vfs vsftpd uh, when you oops let's see, let's see search vsftpd when you uh, type this service name make sure you type the correct word because um, this is not a, a google search kind of smart search uh, that if you typed one character wrong still it will give you the result which is uh, close enough it won't 
so you will have to always type the right words now what this is doing is um, you ask to go through with the whole metasploit database and um, uh, as we don't have any cache uh, we don't have any database cache built in here it is um, going through with number of different options it is finding uh, if there is any exploit available for that and see we got success it found a module so this is a module uh, another word this is a full execution uh, of an exploit if you can use that module properly you can exploit your target machine so now we found the module name and the path where that module uh, is at the moment so what we'll do we'll type the word use again how do i know i will have to use use let's take you to the right place see here this was the help screen where one of the command was use and it said just select a module by name to use that uh, module now firstly by using search i know the full module name i know the path of that module now i am using that module so that i can go for the exploit stage so i need to give the full path uh, but you don't have to type it completely just type few characters hit the tab button that will give you the uh, rest of the thing especially when you are typing vsftpd you don't want to type that whole thing so i'm pressing enter and see now i'm within that exploit and it is asking me um to do whatever i want to do so uh, i can do things but not uh, completely ready yet I just want to see what are the options I need to have within this particular exploit so I type the command show options just to see what are the options I have within this particular um, exploit now it is telling me some information first of all it is telling me this exploit will work on port 21 what we already knew from nmap investigation this exploit can work on our host our host is the remote host is our target host but it doesn't have an ip address so if we want to use uh, this exploit on particular machine we need to have an ip address of the target machine or some sort of address of the target machine otherwise how we can send this exploit how we can send this exploit over the network uh, and hit that computer so what we'll try to do now is to set up an ip address for that particular host quite simple you come here you say set and you give the ip address now if you remember this ip address was the ip address of my target machine on previous uh, lecture i showed you i had a couple of machines running within my virtual environment and um, the target machine ip was this where we found that vsftpd uh, open port uh, but i forgot to add something more here what i need to do set our host and the ip address press enter it is telling me that our host has been set however i just want to make sure that all options are there so i use the command again show options and now i can see our host has been set up so i'm within msf console and i'm within exploit i'm within a certain exploit bsf tpd and um, i got the target ip address and everything now only thing i need to do is to exploit and i'm hitting enter after typing exploit it will take a while and now you can see backdoor service has been spawned handling but what is more sweet here command shell session one opened so it simply just opened a command shell session from our ip address to that ip address at whatever the time is now what can i do with this command shell you can do anything with this command shell let me give you an example if i type ls see i can see 
all the folders of that particular computer just by typing ls what was confusing for the first time when i started using a metasploit is it is just um, cursor is blinking here nothing there it's like um, you don't know whether anything is working or not but believe me it is working so if i type ls minus all again it will give me all the directory list everything you can use any editor you can go in create files so the, the, when you know linux by using command prompt you can do everything this is your access to everything really if you want to uh, change your um, path to root now type pwd you are on slash root and we are on slash root within our target machine so this was a quite um, a big exploit just we found one simple thing that um, this target machine is using bsf tpd we uh, checked it we found there is an exploit available and we used metasploit to exploit that vulnerabilities you don't have to be a programmer you don't have to know a lot of things as long as you know few basic things in linux you are good to exploit this sort of vulnerabilities so when you are done if you want to come back hit Control c and it will ask you do you want to abort session yes done now we are still within that exploit if you want to go back to your main screen you can always press ctrl z and that will take you to the uh, main screen so i wanted to give you a quick um, quick um, outline of what we have done we did use metasploit to exploit vsftpd well it is not five steps it will be one two three four five six seven eight steps uh, now first of all you did run postgresql then you use the command msf console to run metasploit console you use help that's not really a step but um, that allowed you to find out all the options you used uh, search to find out that particular uh, exploit and once we find that exploit we use by using the use command and the whole path whatever we found after we went to the exploit we simply uh, uh, type the command show options we did set up the um, remote host IP address and then just typed exploit press enter this whole exploit did everything for us so it's quite um, simple yet a very uh, powerful tool um, uh, to use to exploit such kind of vulnerabilities thank you all i'll see you on next tutorial